Karadavara di ele ganamaya. Chile que bora na me bebe sarana na 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 nieta da. We are swallowed up in you, Jesus. Chile creto radava que de la maya da la. Se que profeta mama bore saya. Different father, yes. In your presence, Lord, there's fullness of joy, there's fullness of peace. How can I be sad in your presence, Lord? How can I be mad in your presence, Lord? You are just enough, Lord. You are beyond my worship. You are a real person. And I drink from you, Lord. Ay, 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 season <laughs> there is nothing that I can huh? very a winner my time has come <laughs> I'm a champion Christ did it all for me in victory battles won my time has come say this this is my season there is nothing that the devil can do about it no ready a winner my time has come i'm a champion christ did it all for me in victory battles won my time has come we are destined to win. We are highly favored. We are miracles. A time has come. We are. We are highly favored. We are miracles. Celebrate Jesus with a clap offering. Jesus, you are with me. You are for me. <laughs> My life is in you. I'm secure. Jesus, you are with me. You are for me. You live in me. My life is hidden in you. I'm secure. In you I live and move and have my being. In you I live and move and have my being. In you I live. 
have my pain Jesus in you I live and move and have my pain I am safe oh. I'm secured oh. never disadvantaged in the whole of his hands <laughs> I am safe oh. I'm secured oh. never disadvantaged in the hollow If he can take care of the birds in the universe He will take care of you If he can take care of the birds in the universe He will take care of you Cry no more Cry no more Christ is here In you I live and move and have my being. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Now, tonight, uh, like I said, we are going to be doing some practicals. I hope you've been following our teachings. We've been teaching about what? Honor? Yes, we did honor part one, part two. All right. We are going to do some practicals, but uh, before we do some practicals, um, the Lord inspired me while before I came uh, from uh, out of home to share with you something. I realize that sometimes when we do these things we do like the prophetic and all that without teaching you people and you have no clue eh, of um, what is going on, sometimes you don't actually appreciate what must be appreciated. Though we came for practicals but we are not witches. Eh? So we spend at least some time in the word. And uh, hey, dim down the lights. Let's show you some things of what is going on. Uh, because we also we owe accountability to you. It's also not good when we are just giving words. And there is no any sense of accountability whatsoever. Eh? Of what is happening. What is, and I continue hearing the word belligium, belligium. Eh? Belgium, Belgium, and I'm hearing people, uh, I'm seeing like sharp words being exchanged and people are hitting the streets, eh? like some serious riot. Eh? There is something that is roaming around the current king of England. I know you have just stepped uh, in the office and all that, but there are lots of things to do with health issues, uh, things to do with even uh, that are threatening his health. Charles, who was admitted to the hospital for surgery. Maggie Rooley has the latest from London. A few hours ago, the king's motorcade pulled a bright tear outside this hospital as both he and the queen arrived for what the palace is calling, quote, a scheduled treatment. Uh, you might remember just last week, the palace had announced that Charles would be undergoing surgery for his enlarged prostate and would be taking some time off from his royal duties. Uh, guys, it is very rare to get this level of medical information from the royals like this.
with, but the palace has said that Charles has really wanted to raise awareness about prostate issues in men. Just today, the palace released a statement saying His Majesty would like to thank all of those who have sent their good wishes over the past week and is delighted to learn that his diagnosis is having a positive impact on public health awareness. So, that, eh? so we need uh, to... Um see yeah, some of these things some of them are for praying but some of them there are certain messages around eh, that the lord is talking about eh? michael yeah it is good that he's bringing more public awareness to it and charles he's also having a procedure at the same hospital where his daughter-in-law kate is recovering from abdominal surgery now it while it seems rare to have two royals in the hospital like this it does make sense from a security standpoint that they're both in this hospital behind me but again it is so rare to have two senior members of the royal family in the hospital at the same time like this. I saw something, I do want to believe it. Okay? You know these movies of zombies? Eh? Yes. Where things move like, eh? mm. I had a dream. And me, I don't joke with my dreams. Okay? Yes, I prophesy, I use visions and all that, but when certain things come in my dreams, I was first a dreamer before I did these things, eh? yes. where we are prophesying to you. You understand? Eh? Yes. I saw zombies. Mm. <laughs> it was something eh? like a virus or whatever it is, eh? mm. because I didn't see that specific things, but it involved government, whatever government of the earth. And something was affecting brains of people, eh? Mm. And they were like zombies, eh? Mm. You know zombie, eh? Yes. Someone gets a virus and they can bite you and you also get it, eh? There are particular things that want to attack the earth, eh? mm. The gross darkness. Yes. That's why we endeavor to take Holy Communion because some things we can't teach by words. Mm -hmm. We can only get by impartation, mm -hmm. okay? something to do with the news and it had something to do with thinning of ice eh? thinning of ice in an ice nation eh? in an ice based area eh? the, the, uh, those ice based areas I saw something to do with that and it was you know empowering these people who love global warming and all that eh? four years ago we witnessed the horrors of what one virus could instill on humans the coronavirus halted the entire world, mercilessly claiming thousands of lives. It took massive global measures to contain it. Vaccines were developed rapidly to halt its spread. And still, the world is reeling from the lingering effects of COVID-19. Now, that was the story of just one virus, and its fatality rate was not more than 4%. Now, what would happen if the world faces an even deadlier strain of unknown virus? Or worse, many more such viruses that lie hidden deep within the permafrost. Permafrost is a permanently frozen layer on or under the Earth's surface. It consists of soil, gravel and sand, usually bound together by ice. The soil beneath has been kept at below zero temperatures for hundreds of thousands of years. But due to climate change, the permafrost is melting in Canada, Siberia and Alaska. Scientists have begun planning an Arctic monitoring network that would pinpoint early cases of a disease caused by ancient microorganisms. Such a, such a mechanism is likely to give advance warning to authorities to prepare the defenses in case of an outbreak. All right. Now, I know some of you still don't understand. You know, which drug zombie. Mm. Why would God speak about those things? Eh? One of the things that you have to know about the prophetic, yeah, mm. it's not just to give you information eh, as a person. Eh, uh, it was also designed as an element eh, for intelligence. Okay? Now, the people who are in uh, government and all of that, they understand these things. Please change these lights. Don't make me red. Give me neutral lights. Eh. They need those, they need intelligence. They know the importance of intelligence. Oh, yes. Yeah? 
Now, some of you, uh, if you knew certain things, yeah, and these things will be coming on the earth, eh? some vaccines that you'll be taking, eh? they will be relevant. Eh? Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. Because these things are agenda upon agenda upon agenda upon agenda. Yeah? So they are telling you they are so worried about global warming and the ice is thinning, thinning, and you're looking at these scientists. They are the ones getting the things <laughs> beneath the ground. Eh? You understand? Eh? So, of course, some of you will be so scientists more than some of us who are scientists by profession. Yeah? Mm. When these things come out, they say, no, the scientists say it. I'm telling you, God, is, God speaks about these things so that you have the right perspective eh, oh, yes. about things. Eh? Oh, yes. So that when things come, eh, you don't just fall for things. Eh? Mm. So we say them ahead of time. This is not a prophetic fulfillment. This is an update. Mm. You understand? I'm sharing this thing and God was warning about me, about this thing in uh, my dream. And here we are, these scientists, apparently, they are, it's as if they are also prophesying, they are warning. Eh? Mm. But meanwhile, they are working on certain things on there. And they are very clear it is a zombie virus. Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. They are not saying, uh, maybe they will give it, they are saying zombie what? Mm. Mm. So before you know it, these things come out, but they are engineered somewhere. Mm. And they are blaming it on the environment. Mm. Eh? And you all jump. Eh? And that's what the Bible says, that you no longer be children tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. Oh, because yes. these days scientists are doctrine people. So you see these things and you might not understand them. Um, personally, I don't see news. I don't watch news. Oh, yes. But God gives me things eh, that sometimes are to appear in the news and I share them. Like the Belgium thing. Eh? Some of them, like I've told you, every word eh, ministers different things eh, for another individual. Some people have given a lot of uh, lack of credibility to the prophetic. They say, you people, you research about things. Eh? If God can give me something here, that is in a nation where you yourselves know that I have no influence in that nation. I'm not that rich. Yeah? Neither am I that powerful because they are rich people. Eh? You have to as well believe that, ah, let me give this place a considerable word time. So if they give you a word here, a prophetic word, eh, you know that, okay, the same God who speaks about those things is the same God who spoke to me. Eh? Believe God. Okay? Oh, yes. Believe God. That is also another reason. Now, uh, every prophetic word has its own thing. Eh? I can go on and on decoding things. Eh? Mm. Now, like the Belgium thing, uh, they were joining France, uh, and I think France started four days ago, but I gave it here on 10th, eh? uh, 10 days before they started all of this. Actually, I think 12 days oh, yes. before they started all of this rioting and all of that, and it's spreading across Europe. Eh? Mm. But the story behind is there are all these laws, eh? that the EU is putting on agriculture and all of that. Eh? And some of these things are getting harder and harder because there is actually a famine. We've been talking about this famine that is coming upon the earth. Yeah? And so for you, you might not see how relevant this is, eh? but it is. Okay? The other thing is for God to show you that really the Lord does nothing, unless he's not the one who has done it. Eh? But if these farmers... Eh? They are being pushed by the spirit of prophecy or by the spirit of the Lord. The Lord does nothing except he reveals it to his servants, the prophet. Oh, yes. I might not be the one that has seen a particular thing, but the fact that you're seeing a bit of that here, okay, it means the spirit of prophecy is in your amidst. And the Bible says, the testimony, testimony. of prophecy, huh? testimony. the spirit of prophecy <laughs> is the testimony of, of Jesus Christ. It testifies of the fact that Jesus is in your midst. Okay? You need to understand these things so that you don't abuse them. Actually, I've already started teaching because I wanted to teach you a bit briefly. Yeah? You need to get these things. Eh? Don't join the people who abuse them. The other prophetic word was what? King Charles. King Charles. Yeah? The lady in the news is telling you usually royals don't give out that kind of information. Oh, yes. That alone should be telling you something. You, you got to know it before it happened. The Spirit of the Lord hinted that there's going to be something like that that has to do with his health. You understand? You are supposed to be partnering and you're believing also God for secrets, for things that are not known by everybody, yet they can make you prosper. Oh, yes. So there are many ministrations that come out of these things, eh? if you're positive anyway. 
Uh, the Bible says to the pure, all things are pure. <laughs> to the impure, nothing is pure. You'll always find uh, what? Something wrong. Mm. Say, mm -mm. Mm. Anyway, let me tell you something that I needed also. The Lord told me to explain to you when I was coming from home. There's a difference. I've say, said it before here, but I'll say it again. There's a difference between a prophet and a mystic. Okay? There are differences uh, between mysteries and the prophetic frontier. The prophetic can utilize mysteries. Yeah? But I want to give you a bit of this difference because it is important for the way you are to study your God in these last times. Okay? Because it seems like there is a lot of things that come out and uh, sometimes uh, God would love that we bring understanding to the people, okay? I'll give you a simple example, okay? Why am I saying this is uh, different? Eh? I'm going to explain it using physical examples. Eh? Okay. There is a prophet, eh? I've shared about uh, him, and I've quoted him, and I've told you how I like him, and all that. Mm. This man of God is called uh, Prophet Ubat Angel, mm. yeah? Very deep prophet. Uh, I think he was. Uh, he's a Zimbabwean. Yes. Yeah, I believe I have my facts right. Zimbabwean, but uh, originally was doing ministry in UK and all of that. Eh? Yeah. You can't talk about the prophetic, and you don't uh, talk about such names. Eh? Mm. They are big people, you know, in this thing. Yeah. But then he made a statement, a very controversial statement. So uh, before I came here, there is a prophet uh, friend of mine who was texting me and was saying. Man, these things, he was very furious. Eh? Never do these things when you're up there. Eh? How can he say such a thing? So this man made a statement that God told him, meanwhile he has words that come to pass. Mm. And this is also the thing. When you have words that come to pass like that, so you sometimes you think that we are accurate on everything. Oh, we are gods. And I always love to bring that sober thing, even if it means putting myself down sometimes, so that I raise a sober generation and people, eh? Uh, he said that God told him there are seven prophets in the whole world. Okay. Yeah? Mm. Now, for some of us who have done research, for you, you who has not done any research, you will believe everything. For some of us who have done some research, you look at a nation like Ghana. Mm. Ghana has a, a lot of prophets. Mm. Serious one. Almost every pastor has that thing. Eh? Mm. I used to think it was from Zimbabwe because I used to see a lot of Zimbabwean what? people. Here in Uganda, by the way, it is just in its initial stages. We have not yet had that concrete, concrete thing. Uh, although there are some people who have pioneered uh, certain moves and I've mentioned their names here. Yeah? Oh, yes. So I was looking at this. But you see now, this is now the difference between the prophetic frontier yeah, and the mystical frontier. How are they even different? Huh? I told you, even in the prophetic, we move in the spirit realm. Mm. Okay? Mm. But the spirit realm we are moving in eh, is a spirit realm around the earth. Because even around the earth, there is a spirit realm around it. Yes. Each time I'm in the spirit realm, it doesn't mean I'm in heaven. Mm. Okay? Mm. Heaven itself is a spirit realm. Mm. But it is, doesn't mean that because you've gone to heaven, you are moving with earthly things. In fact, certain things in heaven, they will need a lot of explanation or you will need even a language to bring them because they are not on the earth. So you have some things that you can't compare with anything on the earth. There are those that are in heaven, but they are on the earth. Mm. But there are those that are in heaven and they are not yet on the earth. Because remember, heaven is the source of everything. And when God was creating, mm. he didn't only create earth or planet earth. Eh? Mm. If you know any science, if you have any knowledge of science, you know that mm. the Milky Way galaxy alone, they are counting over 200 plus billion planets and stars mm. in that. Mm. And that was all created by one man from heaven. Eh? Mm. So not everything that is in heaven has to look with like everything on earth because there are other planets out there. Are we so far together? Mm. Yeah? Mm. So now I'm explaining this gentleman. Seven prophets, yeah? I realized when I started to move in the mystical world, yeah? 
that there are certain things that are true when you look at the spirit realm around the earth, okay? But when you get into heaven, okay? Which now brings more of, if you're a mystic, eh, you have to be a person that enters heaven. There are people who call themselves mystic, but they are just reading mystical books. Yeah? <laughs> Listen, this is a practice, it's a lifestyle. Mm. It's where we get the word mysterion. Paul uses the word mystery. The Bible says he that speaks in tongues mm. is speaking mysteries. So if you're speaking in tongues, you're a mystic. You might be a young one, but you are. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So, when you enter that realm, you realize there are things you are defining well here, but when you reach there, you have to define them differently. Mm. Let me give you an example. I've told you my story of where I went to a gentleman, I give him a prophetic word, and I tell him, in one week you're meeting the president of your nation. Mm. The only problem is he had never met the president of his nation. He had no connection, and the president was also, I think, new, eh? <laughs> in the seat. Mm. So, I feel so bad because I was so broke. Eh? And I'm saying my, to my wife, I'm saying, what is wrong with this mouth? How can such a word come out of my mouth? I need people to be my friends eh, who can bless me and I bless my ministry. And we're, what, what have I said? When I go home, I'm going to fast. I'm going to pray that God, you help me. So that tones was, I let this word come to pass. Yeah? So as I'm going, um, I asked the Lord there. I heard the Lord. Mm. He told me, go and do it. Yeah? Mm. Go and what? Go and fast as you've said. Eh? Mm. When I reached home, I worshipped for like 30 minutes. Eh? And I felt a particular presence I'm used to, a certain level. Mm. Yeah? He told me, no, now in this level you don't need to fast. Same God. Eh? There he told me fast. Here he's telling me, don't fast. Mm. What has changed? Levels. Mm. Same God. Here he's telling Abraham, get your son, go and sacrifice him. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Here he's telling him, don't sacrifice him. Because unbeknown to Abraham, Abraham had not gotten all the details. Oh, yes. Abraham is one of those prophets. The Bible says, uh, he refers to him as a prophet. Mm. It says uh, to one man who had taken his wife, wife. of which he's the one who had given the wife, that returned this man is right for he's a prophet. A prophet. Mm. But he had not gotten all, all the idea. information. Mm. So, yes, God wanted him to kill his son, but in the heart. Because remember, according to Jesus, before he committed adultery, we've committed it in here. Mm. So, meaning Abraham, before he decided fully mm. that I'm going to what? To kill Abraham, uh, Isaac. Mm. All that journey they put him to go to Mount Moriah of three days and three nights was to kill him on the journey. Mm. He needed to first see that this boy. So that is all God wanted. Mm. You understand? Mm. Because the real physical one, the one who could die for us, was God himself in the person of Jesus. Mm. You understand? Mm. That's why now he provided the lamb, the lamb of the world that takes away all the sins of the world, that was caught up in a thicket, and he named the place Jehovah, Jairah. Okay? So, what do I think about this thing? Now, here I'm judging this word as a mystic, not as a prophet, because I'm just telling you, and most prophets, you, it is possible for you to be a prophet and a mystic. But there are prophets who are not mystics. And it's not a label. It's an exercise. Strong meat is for them that are mature, who by reason of use eh, have exercised themselves. So, mark my words. Hear me in the Holy Ghost. Eh? Hear me very well. You'll hear that I'm telling you certain things, not because I've read the letter alone. I've studied my Bible, Genesis to Revelation. But you'll hear someone who is speaking from experience. Oh, yes. And these are things that when you encounter God, eh, you'll actually feel that what I'm telling you is the truth. Mm. If you have the Spirit of God anyway. Yeah? So, what I believe this man had was a conversation starter. But not a conclusion. There are things that God gives to you, but he's starting a conversation and he's expecting you to ask him, okay, what do you really mean there are seven prophets? Mm. Maybe he's meaning 
there are seven prophets of this particular kind. What is even your definition of a prophet God? Mm. You see, you need to ask those questions. Mm. Because mm. you see, what and why some of these words are good and it's crucial to address them. These are dignitaries in the spirit. Mm. That's why I don't address these things in a way of uh, bashing someone, mm. but I address them in the way of teaching and causing us to learn something. Are you excited about that kind mm. of approach? Mm. Because what I told you, the issue with how we handle doctrine, because you have to understand, someone will say, ah, that is not doctrine. But remember, the words you have in the scripture were also spoken by men who were like him mm. in their days. Mm. And now we are calling them scripture. Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. Now, if such words also just go on, and sometimes they are not addressed, eh? I'm okay if someone else doesn't mind them. But since here it's a ministry also where we value the prophetic. Eh? Mm -hmm. I think such conversations are in order. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, the thing is, I believe this was a conversation, what? Right? Not a conclusion. Mm -hmm. You understand? Eh? Mm -hmm. There are things someone can tell you and honestly, when you get time, you need to go back eh, and ask Burundi, what do you mean? Okay? Because when Elijah says, uh, in uh, 1 Kings 18, 22, and uh, 1 Kings 19, 10, and 1 Kings 19, 14, then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I, only remain a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. Okay? He went on saying this thing. You understand? Eh? Uh, 1 Kings 19, 10, he says, And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts. For the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with a sword. And I, even I only, am left. And they seek my life to take it away. Mm. Okay? Mm. Most of the doctrines you've had around church, eh? yeah? I tell you, Elijah was proud. He didn't know that there were other 7,000 that had not bowed their knees to Baal. Okay? Mm. Do you know how the church loves it? Eh? If a father has brought such a revelation, eh, everyone eh, must just follow and they are re echoing eh, as if we are parrots eh, mm. the same doctrine. Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. But I told you where that problem comes from. I told you the problem comes from how you people were taught. The kind of education system mm. that Europeans have sold to us. Mm. I told you that kind of education system here in Africa it teaches you what to think about, not how to think. So you realize that the guy that is making a car and you who is eh, treating the car, a mechanic, eh, mm -hmm. the difference between the one that makes a car, they were taught how to think. You who is there just to treat the car, they just tell you, this part is here, it must be here, you can't change it from here, you understand? Mm -hmm. The guy who makes a car, mm -hmm. eh? Why they keep bringing more cars? Mm. For them, they've been taught. So sometimes they say, but why must it be there? Why mm. can't I change it today and I see what will happen? You understand? Eh? Mm. This is the difference we have. Mm. That's why I am praying to God and I've always prayed to God that may God help me raise wise people. Because you people are going to change the educational systems Amen. and many things. Amen. And some of them will start by how you school and teach your children. There is a way I want them to study. You understand? Eh? Mm. It starts there. You understand? Mm. So, that thing is also in the church. A person will say a word. Eh? But because they've said, God has said it. Mm. Eh? Mm. They are angry with you if you try to ask questions. How can you ask God questions? So, they present to you a God that is not relatable. You understand? Mm. I'm not like that. Eh? Me, I ask God, okay, where could this thing come from? Because, let, let me tell you, the truth is, it's not the first person I've heard, by the way. Mm. I had it with also another man who said God told him there are 12 eh? men that carry, is it, they call it what, grace. There is that word they use. A supreme authority anointing. There is one that was told that way, that they have, they are 12 mm. that carry supreme authority anointing. Mm. Even here in Uganda, everywhere, you hear people saying, um, God has told me I'm to lead the last move of God. You understand? Eh? Mm. So me, myself, me, I'm a wise person. You don't just tell me things like that and I just believe them. 
You understand? Eh? Help me understand. Even though I have faith, you understand? Mm. The things I do here, the prophecy, the healing, the miracles, mm. I do them by faith. Mm. But I'm a logical person. Eh? And I pray that God helps you have this balance. Eh? Amen. So, you see what I'm saying now? There is someone who will share these things when they are just criticizing. But there is no information, there is no knowledge in what they are saying. But there is me. I'm sharing certain things and I want you to learn something. Eh? So, yes, there are men that are higher in ranking, but what makes them higher? Have you ever wondered why? Now, I'm, this I tell you as a mystic. Eh? What makes certain people higher than others? Okay is because of the angels that God gives their commissions and assignments. A man might be there, but the kind of angel they have is a rare angel that helps them do that. So if, you see, you go deeper in the conversation and you're asking God, God can tell you maybe the men that have assigned these kinds of commission, A, B, C, D, they are seven. You understand? Eh? You see now how it makes more sense mm. than when we leave it hanging? Eh? It, it, it leaves us in total confusion. Eh? Oh, yes. Because there is another one, whatever. Because sometimes, when they are left hanging, some of these things will only draw a uh, moment to be loyal to us and followers and all that. But uh, at the end of the day, we have a responsibility to the body of Christ as stewards. Okay? So I can only speak about what God has given me. Okay? Me, my core, these other things, I do them. And I've told you people who do them, much better than me. One of them is the man I'm talking about. Yeah? Mm. But, when it comes to this thing called the mystic, when I'm teaching you something, eh? mm. you go to my teachings, you'll notice a trend. Eh? There is something that was given to me by God. Amen. Okay? Mm. It's actually the whole of my ministry. Mm. So, how about... You know, the Proverbs 18, 17 says, He that is first in his own cause seems just, but his neighbor comes and searches him. So, me, I'm not bashing the thing. Eh? But, my, what I'm saying is, it needed more explanation. Now, how about this one that say, God has told me to lead the last move. Man, that used to disturb me. I could do sit under certain things and they are sharing that thing. I say, huh? <laughs> you mean like for real, for real? Eh? <laughs> so, it leaves you confused because you know other men of God that are doing work out there. Eh? Mm. So, if you're leading the last move of the last days, mm. what are the other ones doing? You understand? Eh? Mm -hmm. And some of you, you just say, the man is pridewood. He never heard from God. No! Okay, that can be an answer, but it is not the full answer. Mm. There are those that do and say these things selfishly. Mm. But I liked uh, an answer from a man called uh, Bruce Allen. Now, there is a gentleman who has written a book about supernatural translations and transportation called Michael Van Vlein. But in his book, he hints on a man he learned from called Bruce Allen. So I was just studying and feeding on the material of these people. And this man actually also ended up saying that in every nation he has gone, he has met a man like that who says God has called them to lead the move of the last days. So he was wondering one day, but God, who is right? Eh? Will they all lead each other? What is happening? And then God told him, that actually they are all right. Because the God of the Bible, me, I, won't, I, I can't be shocked, the God of the Bible can give you such a weird answer. Because his God is not human. And he asked him, okay God, if they are all right, how are they right? He said, yes. The move of the last days, many people shall lead it. Because I don't want it to be tied to anyone's name. Mm. As this one will be leading it, mm. and he leads it, and it gets to this man, mm. and it gets to a certain level, mm. you, I will phase them out, and another one comes and leads. Wow. You understand? Eh? Mm. And another one comes and leads. Mm. It will be with the faceless, nameless people. Mm. These are prophecies that prophets like Bob Jones gave. Mm. So it made a lot of sense. You understand? Eh? Mm. So 
God will cause this one to do something. And it is indeed God. And for some of you, these things are so hard for you because you've not had encounters with God. Let me tell you something about God. When you meet God face to face, there is one thing that will hit you. Eh? There is a way Jesus deals with you eh? as if you're the only person in the world. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, that is the thing. Mm. So when he's telling these people that you lead the move, let's move on. It is true they've heard him. Mm. But they've not heard the whole truth. Because what we are doing here, even preaching and prophesying, is prophecy. But the Bible says, we prophesy in part. We know in part and we prophesy in, in part. part. Mm. Now the problem is, when you're accurate a certain way, mm. eh? You want to avoid that part in the scripture <laughs> that says you are prophesying in part. You want to feel like you are the one that is doing everything. Yeah? And me, that's why I bring perspective to these things. You know? I, I saw things and someone was sharing something saying that, ah, this man enthroned Trump. You understand? Eh? And now, those, that's a wrong way of representing the prophetic. You know why? Before I had the man's prophecy, I had had eight years ago Kim Clement who Clement. died, who was yes. prophesying about Trump. Mm. The reason why this man prophesied about Trump and the other one prophesied about Trump and all of that, and we can't say any one man enthroned Trump, mm. yeah, mm. is because when the Spirit of God is moving in a particular direction, yeah, mm. he tends to leave witnesses when he's the one doing the thing. Oh, yeah. That's why I can get a prophecy about Japan. Kajesi Brian gets a prophecy about Japan. Passion Java gets a prophecy about Japan. Mm. It is bringing all these pieces together. Mm. Why? Mm. Remember, the earth has been given to man. Okay? Mm. So no spirit is allowed to operate in the earth realm mm. unless it has partnered with a man. Okay? Because no spirit is allowed to operate in the earth realm unless it has partnered with man, even Jesus' body to be formed mm. without sleeping with a man. It had to take a lot of prophets prophesying mm. about his coming. Mm. So he had to use a lot of lips. Mm. You understand? Mm. That's the most accurate understanding of the prophetic. Amen. Not until I'm the supreme authority. Mm. Because if you say you enthroned enthron, Trump, it means hmm? mm -hmm. he shouldn't have failed the second time. Because it is at your discretion. You can just... You understand? Eh? I'm not saying that is not a power. There are men that are called with that kind of power. Mm. Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. But I also don't want us to claim it when we're not reached there. Mm. One wise man said extraordinary claims need extraordinary proofs. Mm. William Branham, a story is told and not just him, it has happened to another prophet called Bobby Connor. Yeah? Alive. He's alive. He was hunting and he couldn't see any squirrel. And they all told him, speak a squirrel into existence. And he said, let there be a squirrel. And the squirrel appeared. And he shot it. Mm. Now, that is the, the other power mm. which enthrones. Mm. Enthroning means eh, there is no way it could happen. Unless. Unless. You, you look at this person and man, they are dead. As in, they are dead. It is Lazarus situation. Mm. But because you're walking in this level of power, mm. because even power there is dimension, eh? mm. as Jesus, eh? you get Lazarus out. Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. So that's what I'm talking about. Eh? The horse are moved in some kind of that power. Eh? It bends on out. And it's so bad that some of the people that moved in this kind of power, eh? they died early. Uh, if you look at... Um, who was this man who died in India among the apostles? Is it uh, Stephen? Um, I'll, I'll do my research, eh? I'm not, but I've, I've studied extensively. I'll, I'll, I'll do. You can look for an apostle who died in India. He found uh, people eh, who are playing with the water. Eh? They are throwing it. Eh? In, you know Indians and they have things. Eh? They have idols. Eh? But they are throwing it to God. He told them no. That God cannot hear you, cannot even do anything. But me, my God, can hold that water in the air. And he said, really? So the man threw the water and the water froze in the air. Wow. And that entire village, whatever. That, so those guys walked in certain dimensions. So me, I don't want us to lie to ourselves. We are not seeing those things. Mm. That's why I have these programs where we do practicals. Mm. 
Eh? Mm. I be building here even as I'm building myself. Mm. Me, I'm honest. I'm, I, I'm, I can be quite accurate when I decide to. Mm. Eh? I can be quite deep when I decide to mm. go into certain dimension. Mm. I can quite be crazy when I decide to go into certain dimensions of the miraculous. Eh? Mm. But I'm honest with my journey of the Lord. Eh? Because uh, I feel it's an area that we need. One of the reasons why I married my wife is honesty. Yeah? Um, I love to be honest. Eh? And um, I, I don't want to over-exaggerate things. Eh? You know, Pafare is when um, commodity is overpriced as per the real value of the commodity. Yeah? You go, the thing is supposed to cost around 2K. But you overprice it to what? 25K. You understand? Eh? God does not like those unjust balances. And we tend to have a lot of them even in our preachings. Eh? And we overhype something. Eh? You understand? Eh? And we keep people by the hypes. Now, some of you, you people, are not uh, ministers. So you won't understand some of the things we ministers know. Oh, yes. Okay? Because if you go to a minister eh, and they've overhyped them mm. and they can't heal your disease, mm. it is you who will come mm. and when I get like four other cases, me I'll be knowing, I'll be privy to information that you don't know. You understand? Eh? So me, I'm honest and I'm telling you this as a fact. I'm telling you I'm one man of God that loves you and I'll tell you what I can do. Eh? Don't even run eh? in hiding. Mm. Eh? Mm. I can give you some recommendations. Me myself, I'll give you recommendations. You understand? Eh? Mm. Because what I'm here, I'm, I'm building the body of Christ. Oh, yes. eh? You are not really blessed. Yeah? Me, my conscience uh, I value my conscience uh. so Bambi uh, have you learned something uh? oh yes so there is a difference between a prophet and a mystic uh. for example Elijah's prophetic was more of the clear realm uh, but you can say people like Daniel John the revelator they were mystics uh. you realize that the things the way they could get these things uh, they were as if they are parable-ish. Mm. You understand? Mm. And it doesn't mean that for you to be a mystic, you have to just speak deep things. But I'm saying, there are things, eh, there is mystery to them. It's like they are still folded, eh, that they are still needing unfolding, even in the ages to come. Eh? Mm. The Elijah thing, the Elijah thing, you just know it. The guy was annoyed and he let go of bears. You can all understand. Mm. Eh? This is the time I was trying to explain the book of Revelation to my mother. That you know, this thing you're looking at here, where is it, Manya? And then he saw locusts. Eh? Uh, you know, I, I used to minister with uh, Joseph Cableta. You know? So, I, he's an end time guy. I would say he's the father of end time in this nation. Yeah? Even end time, by the way, is not the most perfect thing. Eh? when you now go into the mystical world, eh? well, because a lot of things to do with time are not known. And I told you, okay, let me first finish what I was saying. Because <laughs> my thoughts, when I go to another thought, I'll forget what I was saying. Huh? What was I saying before I said Kavlet? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, I was explaining to my mother. So, this man had explained that, you know, the grasshopper there, eh? And, you know, uh, you're saying, I was seeing like grasshoppers and like they have female hair. Eh? And it's like the, 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 there is what? Uh, it, the face looks like a man's face. So I was telling my mother, you know now, this one is an Apache helicopter. Hmm? And now this one is Desert Storm. Hmm? When they came for, I, uh, who, who was that? Saddam Hussein. Eh? And eh? so I'm explaining to her, now, meanwhile, unbeknown to me, some people around the village had told my mother that your boy eh, 
has gone mad because we find him praying on the way and all that. And it's true, I was praying on the way, but I wasn't mad. So when I was explaining that, eh, she looked at me eh, and she believed totally Bambi. Oh, I, man, I saw the face eh, and at some point I paused. I said, ah, I know this look. Man, eh, it was so painful, just know. I went through a season where I couldn't convince my mother that I'm sane. Because, man, I was believing for crazy things. Eh? Imagine a person, they, someone dies eh, in a mortuary, and I jump on a border border, and I run. They almost closed me in a mortuary. <laughs> the guy told me, you understand? And that dead body didn't come back to life. Hey, because may I tell you those things? In life, I've prayed for three that came back to life. But that particular one didn't. You understand? But I'm just telling you, there is a period of time that was like that. Now, when it comes to the prophetic, the prophetic utilizes time. It utilizes the past, the present, and the future. And that means when God is giving you prophetic information, it has to have some form of knowledge or relevance to time as we know it, or as another planet knows it. You understand, eh? Mm. But that is not so always when it comes to mystical information. There are things we get from the mystical realm. You understand? That are not even relative to time. or They have nothing to do with time because in that realm, mm. even time is simply a creation, another creation. So God can speak to you about other things that do not operate with time as you know time. Mm. Have I explained this thing well? So you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, ask questions. Who are not just told what to think about, but be told how to think. Eh? Questions like, what is being said? Why is it being said? How is it being said? Who is saying it? What is his track record? in this dimension. Me, I have a track record when it comes to explaining hard stuff. It has been like that all my life. I'm telling you. Kari, it's okay. Team up with someone. Eh? I'm going to teach you uh, uh, prophecy. Eh? We are going to prophesy again. Okay? We are going to prophesy and just going to teach you. And The other time I gave you one trick, right? All right. I'm no wasting time calling upon the Lord. I just want you to, you to learn these things. Eh? And that's why I'm taking time to teach you. Because when I teach you, when you just go and you're doing these things eh, and you're going with all these indoctrinations in the thing, eh, it won't do us good. Eh? Okay? Put things in the right perspective. Uh-huh. Okay, what I need is, so long as you are not with them the other time we practiced. So, no, you, you're not teaming up with anybody. Get someone. Please, you're with who? Hey. Hey, it's good to team up. Eh? Now, the prophetic is so easy. Okay? Um, one day, in uh, my house, there is uh, a time sweets were smelling in the house eh? and uh, I think porridge as well eh? <laughs> so I could tell these people are you guys smelling porridge not doing this <laughs> I couldn't smell nothing eh? now spiritually okay now I'm speaking to you as someone who knows what I do okay how the spirit world is structured eh? spiritually if you see people leaving their bodies yeah Sometimes they will live from up the head, yeah? But most times they will live from here. They are portals within your body, okay? So usually when I'm smelling things in the spirit realm, eh, I smell them from here. Some of you have prophesied to you on Google Meet and I'm calling you out by what you ate. Eh? Yes. You know that, eh? mm. And I'm saying, you, you ate chips and this today, you ate liver and this, because I'm smelling them, okay? So even your spiritual eyes eh, are here, okay? Holy fire, holy fire, burn upon my altar. 
to get out your phone and not what you've seen. The evidence is all around. The spirit of the Lord is here. The atmosphere is changing now. Oh, this year. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is all around. That the Spirit of the Lord is here. Overflowing this place. Fill our hearts with your love. Your love surrounds us. You're the reason we came to encounter your love. Your love surrounds us. still too loud. Right now you need to be calmer, focusing on information. Cover me in your glory. Cover us in your glory. Cover us in your glory. Cover us in your glory. We don't want to dwell outside. No, no. But in your glory, in your glory, cover us in your glory, cover us in your glory, cover us in your glory. Now, enough. Because some of you, when I leave you to go long, you will even start to doubt what you've seen at first. Uh, that's also how it works. Those random thoughts and all of that, get out your phone in the not, not, notes, not them down. But for you, if you have a good memory and you don't need that, I need the first couple to come here. The first couple. Come. Where am I starting? You've seen something, you've had something for someone. Come. No, your name. I know your name. Come here, come here. I want to see you. His name is wonderful. One stands here, another one stands here. I know your name. Uh huh. What did you see for her? Give her the mic. Bridget. Mm -hmm. We've seen a gentleman. Yes. Kneeling down. A gentleman kneeling down. With one leg like uh -huh. this, one kneeling down. And is partially kneeling down. Okay. And uh, giving her a ring yes. that is asking, Will you marry me? Mm. 
And uh, after, I didn't see the wedding, I didn't see any ceremony, mm. but later mm. I saw their home. Mm. It had a go down, mm -hmm. they had a car mm -hmm. parking in front, mm -hmm. and the Bridget had a round dress, mm -hmm. and I tied a, a black belt. Mm -hmm. They had left their two kids behind, mm -hmm. but she was running from the go down on the incline. Mm -hmm. She was running up, and the husband was waiting her in the car. Yeah, she was running up to find him so that they can go for work. Yeah. Wow. wow. Now, this prophetic word is equally a word from God. You know, you don't know her that she's single. I don't know her. You, you don't know her. She's single, very not married. Very single. So that's a prophetic word. Amen. Celebrate Amen. Jesus. Amen. That's why I told you interchange, because I don't want lies here. Bridget, your turn, uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know Susan? I know two Susan. Mm -hmm. One was my alumni at the campus. Mm -hmm. Another one, I just found her. She was a workmate. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we talked together yesterday. Uh -huh. She wanted oh. one of the products I'm selling. Don't give so much. Ah. You, 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 you go, uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seems like Susan, there was something that was, that was like an issue in Susan's life. Okay. And the Lord was telling me, it was in in relation in relation with her, mm. and God was telling me He's putting an end to it. He's bringing an end to it. What and did the Susan want from you? She wanted biotin. She wanted biotin to make her hair grow very well. She wanted biotin. It was a health issue that brought Susan. So you're accurate. Amen. And the Lord is bringing an end to that thing, because so your product is going to work on Susan. That's what the Lord is saying. He said it. And before you know it. It will bring other customers. Amen. Ah. Uh -huh. You're accurate. The uh -huh. other is so hard. She was, it was like a journey, like on a, beach, uh, on a beach. Now, when you come here, don't try to interpret what you saw. Okay? Just say what you saw. I'll help you interpret. Okay? okay? Because there is also, that's also another whole level. Eh? <laughs> Seeing is one thing, but interpreting what you saw rightly. I saw her with Jesus on the, like, on a beach. Uh -huh. And it was like as you with a friend and moving and talking, mm -hmm. and uh, it was like God was desiring, he told, this is what I had, mm. desiring a deeper relationship with you. Okay. It was like there is a door that has okay. been set for you to travel. Okay. Those are those. Amen. Bless you too. Amen. Celebrate Jesus for them. <laughs> uh -huh. This was the first couple. Next couple. Mm -hmm. Okay, start. <laughs> when I closed my eyes, eh? Yes. Like I saw a city with many lights, eh? A city with many lights, yes. Yeah. Mm. Then after, like I saw him in New York. You saw him in New York? Like dressed flashily. Uh-huh. Eh? Wow. He was preaching like... Okay. Uh, like Times Square. Okay. Eh? So after that, I saw him preaching like mm. on a stage, like uh -huh. Joyce Meyer stage. Uh-huh. Eh? Then after I saw him like on a private jet, like mm. going to an estate mm. of an ex, like a uh, mm. uh, president or something. Mm. Uh, then I heard your voice and I said, come here. Oh, wow. Oh. Now, I believe what she's talking about, there is a call of a minister. Because of recent he was asking me about how can I be a mystic and all of that. Eh? There is a call of a minister in you. You're not just called for just uh, simple things. But then the Joyce Meyer stage, this you'll understand very well. I know that Joyce Meyer has always been uh, uh, honest with her struggle with addiction and uh, her story, you know. I believe God shall use you and bring people that have suffered with addictions in your ministry out of addictions. Eh? And this is something, of course, you can understand. Eh? Yes. So I believe that's what wow. she saw. So what did you see for her? <coughs> Chigali. Chigali. Mm. Rwanda. You've been there? Mm. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. The first thing I had was Chigali. Yes. And then it was like an interplay. Mm. There's an old train station in Gulu. In Gulu. So I saw that train station mm. and there was a trolley. Mm. Um, if you look at an old mine, eh? yes. you know how those trolleys are. Yes. So I saw a trolley mm. like that. So it became like Chigari. Chigari. So I want to un 
understand. Me, I understand. No, that's why I'm saying. Just say the vision. Me, I'll interpret. Okay? Now, the thing, you've been to Gulu as well. <laughs> Several times. Several times. She's been to Chigali, but she's also been to, Chik to Gulu. So the rails of, that you're seeing for mining, yeah? And all of that. Because in mining, they use those rails, but also a train uses them. Me, what I know, what you're seeing has something to do with the wealth. There is wealth being trolled mm -hmm. yeah, towards that. That's your word. Okay. Continue. Because mm -hmm. yes. it transformed into an old mine, or into a mine. Right? Into a mine, and yes. I felt people were mining things from there. Yes. I, I, I dismissed it. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. um, Margaret. Margaret. Huh? Margaret. Mar Nalumansi. Margaret and Nalmansi. Have you come across those names? Margaret, I have a friend called Margaret. Nalmansi. Oh, actually, even my boss. Even your boss is Margaret. Yeah, uh -huh. Margaret. Uh -huh. Then Nalmansi. The name given to my sister, but my mom didn't use it. It was a name that was given to your sister, but, but my your mom didn't use it. He's there. Mm -hmm. Hey, continue. Deep, so deep. You said by yeah, way. Yeah, guys. Now you're talking about yeah. Margaret, who is her boss. That is still financial. Go on. I actually knew Margaret was related to work. Yes. And uh, immediately I had Margaret and Nalumansi. Yes. I had blessing. Blessing. Mm, actually, that's the main story, eh? Yes. That was supposed to be her name. My mom did. So he's picking two names that we are supposed to be of your sister. Teos, did you see? We are trying to just make sense of what he saw. Mokisa. That being Mokisa. Which is the same thing, yeah. Then I had Zambia. Zambia. Mm, I have a sister. Mm. We met like two weeks ago, eh? Mm. She works in Zambia and she said I should go and visit her. You should go and visit her. This year. Mm. Celebrate Jesus. Guys, celebrate, Jesus. celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Yeah? <laughs> this is not me, oh. Yeah. This is you. <laughs> Training up. Uh huh. I asked God what he shall, because you talked about time, we should mm. interrupt in the past, present, and future. So I asked yes. about the future. Yes. And immediately I had May. May. The month of May. Yes. Zambia. And yeah. Then huh? It's okay. I entered her. And then. You entered her room? No, inside her. Uh huh. Hey. <laughs> Okay, in the spirit realm, these things are possible. Yes. Eh? Don't uh, <laughs> take them like. And a name, Grace. Grace. Came out of her back. Grace, who is Grace? Grace, uh, my friend at work, our procurement officer. Our? Procurement officer. Procurement officer. Mm. Uh huh. Grace. That's Even Grace. My daughter is called Chisachi. Even your daughter is called Chisachi. Powerful. I believe you're speaking about the daughter because these are her loins. Mm. Hey, because she's such a in English is grace, uh huh. Nachimoli. 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 <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what? Nachimoli. Today we're talking about her Nachimoli. Ah, hmm. She she's our OJ. She was our classmate. Yes. But she's now like a biggest person in Namugongo. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. oh, Go on. You. And and then. Naturally, in Namugongo, remember he came out from the dark. Namugongo, hey! You see how the prophetic is? See the interpretation. Bless you. Bless Amen. you, guys. Amen. Bless you. Amen. All right, next person. Wow. Celebrate that. We celebrate so, you too. Yes? Do you think these things hey. are so hard? Hey, 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 hey. So long as, I've, I told you, so long as you're sitting under a grace that genuinely has it, mm. it will flow to you. Amen. Wow. Please yes. hurry, please hurry, hurry, hurry. One here, one, one there. there. Mm. Yeah. Hello. You're smart. So go dawali. Dawali ari ngwe tukula bila. Muri wa kazi na rwana. Okay, one. I worked with her spirit and um she was putting on white shoes. Mm. Uh they were like simple shoes but mm. white. Mhm. Mm then uh, she was lifted mm. when she was lifted i then saw her in the space mm. when i saw her in the space mm. i saw a lot of stars mm -hmm. and when i saw a lot of stars mm. i saw her turn into flowers 
I mean the scriptures were whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa. Yeah. What kind of season are you in right now? What it happened? Mm, apparently, it is just that I, I happen to have um, basically sick people, mm. those things. Yes. Uh, business wise. Yes. And then. Um, so you've been praying for them. Yes, like I've been praying for such things and yes. also the kind of. Uh, uh, there, there are certain dreams I've been getting and mm. I could wake up and press such things. You're praying, counseling things. So God, I believe, gave you the season of life she's in mm. by yeah, those... The scriptures, yes. like Psalms 23, yes. the, the flow was Whoa. low. Nothing will touch me. They will yes. come in one direction. But yes. they will flee in seven. Everything was like, oh, is it me? <laughs> oh, I like. So you are going to pray for her seriously. Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. What did you see for her? Um, actually, I first of all I saw her in an office setting, but mm. she was as though she was stressed about something. Mm -hmm. But she was seated on a laptop trying mm. to do something, but mm. a bit stressed. Mm. Then from that, I had uh, continued trusting in me, mm. something like that. <laughs> when last did you sit on a laptop? I sit on every day. Every day. And I know <laughs> she writes <laughs> proposals and all of that, and uh, I understand what you're saying. Yes. Me, I understand it. Do you understand it? Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. another thing. Yes. I, I, I had leads. Leads. Like, mm -hmm. Yes, I had leads, mm. but then it was as though Liz was coming in partnership with her. Yes. And... Uh, I heard she was going to be blessed more financially, so I don't Amen. know what okay. So, Liz must be a prophetic word for you. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Betty, mm -hmm. anyone, Liz, write it down. Because the Lord is saying she's coming in partnership with you and she's going to be a blessing to you. Amen. Financially. Amen. Yes. I think, yes. I think was about the daughter. Mm. Yeah, I heard... Don't leave her out in terms of godly things. Eh? Yes. Yes. Hey, bring her on board. Whenever there is church and all of that, bring her on board. Mm -hmm. yes, wow. Wow. Hey. Uh -huh. wow. They even said something about your daughter, you see? Hey, wow. celebrate Jesus. Hey, hey. In the name of Jesus, we cancel every attack. In the mighty name of Jesus, we release the blessing that must Amen. come in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hey, I need someone from this side. this side. Then next it will be you. This hey. side. Hurry up. Come, come, come. Very come and prophesy. Hey, you'll be shocked. You'll <laughs> leave out somebody's word. In hey. Yes. Very. Uh -huh. Don't fear. I don't know what they are called. They are used in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But they are like spoons, like forks. But they are table stuff. You can mm -hmm. even use them for cooking. They are black. Mm. They are modern. Eh? Mm. I first saw something that appeared like a fork. Mm. Then it appeared, I saw a plain wooden table mm. with a cream run, a cream table runner. Mm -hmm. And then a full set appeared in a, a wooden bowl. Mm -hmm. But the top was black. Like those, it's a kitchen Do you have a child at home? Black. Any child at home where you stay? No. You don't have? No child. N it might not be yours, but someone else's. No. Okay. Because I'm trying to wonder what that means. What's your name? Patricia. Patricia. Uh huh. First, tell me what you saw. In, I'm, I'm going to get the interpretation. That's all you saw. W kitchen. I saw that, that big thing. Mm. It's like a fork, but it's not a fork. It's like this. It's black. It's used to. You see it here. Hey, the one that is used to get spaghetti. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Mm. And, and then a full set in a wooden bowl on a wooden table and a cream table runner and it is on top of that. The full set is no, I, I think I'm, I'm getting it. The Lord is telling you that um, because as you said, I had the word spoon fed. The way you're going to get some of the things that God is going to give you is going to come easy. Like as if you were cheer your girl eh, growing up. Eh? But uh, God is spoon feeding you. That's why I was wondering whether she feeds any children or anything like that. Eh? That's why I was asking that question. So I believe there is a table set before you. 
and it's a table of greatness, but it is also a table of home. Eh? Amen. Something I believe God is addressing your marital destiny Amen. with that Amen. vision. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Um, me, uh, mm. I saw a woman who mm. was seated at home mm -hmm. with three kids. Three kids. Yes, but she wasn't look. She was looking on the other side. Mm. So, like, I focused and prayed God to be clear to me. Mm. But later, I saw an office setting. An office setting. How many children are you? How many girls are you uh, from your mother? Four. You're four. But two sisters of mine have three kids. Have three kids. Two sisters of yours have three kids. Eh? Uh, are they working? Yeah. They are not working. Because I, I believe she's saying a prophetic word one of the sisters. I believe it is in their prayer setting. So there is one particularly that has the three kids that is going to enter into office. Like they are going to receive a job or work. Eh? So that's the word she's getting. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Bless you. Wow. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hey, one of say, okay. You are standing up. Come, man. We need to hear those words. Be bold. Let's start with Mami Joy. Elders first. Good evening, Apostle. Good evening. I only had the name Florence. It kept being with Florence. Florence, Florence. Florence. Uh -huh. I have a cousin called Florence. Mm -hmm. And I have two friends called Florence. One, I work with her. Okay. No. I may have gotten what you're seeing. You're seeing the Florence and all that. But I've told your family that there is someone who is going to go to Italy. I believe in literary, there is something to do with Florence. Yeah. There is a city, and she wasn't there when I was telling you this. So there is a city called Florence. So I believe she's prophesying about Italy. Amen. Okay, now, mm. for me, when I kept mentioning Joy and I'm praying for her, mm. I felt a very sharp pain in mm. my, my heart. Eh? Wow. I kept, I, I, I kept feeling it even after we are out of it. Yes. And then when I told her, she... Maybe she can explain. No, wow. I know. What? She doesn't need to explain. Mm. She has yeah. had a heart problem, a heart disease. For years? For how long? Since after COVID. Since after COVID. And it was almost taking her. Wow. Wow. Let's stretch our hands. Let's pray hey. for her. Let's rectify that. Celebrate Jesus. Come first. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate yeah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> we fun. pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. That your heart, spiritually and physically, whatever was coming to affect your heart, it is dealt with in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 What an atmosphere. Bring Holy Communion. What an atmosphere. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Celebrate Jesus. You are the air Oh Lord. You are, you are the air I breathe. Oh Lord, you are, you are the power of Kilia. You are the rose of Shah. You are the air I Oh Lord, you are. Now the rest of you, I ask you, don't go home. 
when you've not shared what you saw with the neighbor, okay? Yeah. Hey, share. Oh, yeah? Share. Share. But if you want to share now, you can come here. Yeah. Can come. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Lord, you are. Oh, if, did you share what you saw with her? But the, the other reason why I call you here is you might see the vision, but you don't have the interpretation. So, because I understand. Mm -hmm. Is you, Lord? Mm -hmm. What did you see? Doreen. I had a friend, hmm. Doreen, but we are no longer in contact. You're no longer in contact. Uh -huh. Whose father was a uh, Ebasa? Ebasa. Something to do with teaching. Father? Yes. Okay. But okay, me, I understand what you're saying. Because you're, you're a teacher by profession. Yes. So you saw Doreen, whose father is Ebasa. So those were two information. Now, what happens in a prophetic? You can pick two information. But you need the spirit of God to tell you that, okay, separate Basa on the other side and separate Doreen on this other side. You understand? Eh? So he's still accurate. Me, I know her. She's a teacher. So you saw Doreen, whose father was a Basa. So God is teaching, telling you something. Huh? What else did he say? Uh, I saw his like as well. Uh -huh. She's a lady. Mm -hmm. She's an accountant. An accountant. At school. At school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has a house in Bulenga. Yes. And uh, I saw one specific child. Uh, mm. She's called uh, Flavia. Flavia. One of, her, uh, one of her children. Eh? Okay. Any Flavia? Student. I had a student called Flavia. You had a student called Flavia. Hey, hey that one counts. Hey, why, why, why are you taking away the glory? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Wow. Celebrate Jesus. Wow. Amen. So, what I feel, remember, Basa receives money. Mm -hmm. Accountant receives money. God wants to bless you in that line. Amen. You are about to get a job. Amen. I know you have a job, but you are about to get a job that will bless you with some good money. Amen. And uh, whatever Flavia means, uh, the Lord is just showing you that in this line, eh, don't run away from the line as yet. Eh. God wants to bless you in that line. Amen. I believe God will shift you. Will shift you to something that will give you good money. You have papers for this thing? Papers? Yeah. As in, are you a certified teacher? Yeah. Hey, oh, okay. Good. It will happen. Yeah. Hey, it will happen. So, uh -huh, what did you see for him? First, I saw a door mm. closing mm -hmm. and a door opening. A door closing, a door opening, yes. Then Mm. Yes. But then it was my village. Mm. And it was the nut plantation, then my grandmom's old house. Mm. Old a house and a kitchen. What is your grandmother's name? It was called Yuska. 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 Hey, but Yuska oh. is Justine in English. Yeah? Yuska, Justine. they say that it is Justine. Justine. Okay. That's unique. It's a very unique name. So, one door is closing. I believe there are new chapters of your life. So, Ogena Kurimando Oza, because Yaja is, yeah? Hey, but then we bless God. May those doors open in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. And we decree and declare that something that shall give you money is coming amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's the same word so, as well. Yeah. Old job yeah? What else? Then I also saw, I had stadium, then I saw like a stadium. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, he's also preaching. Mm. Apart from the work he does, he's a preacher. He's a preacher. So God will give, will make you feel stadiums. Amen. Because I know, I know that they don't know each other. Yeah. So this is good. Yeah. This is Very good. Celebrate good. Jesus. Amen. Yes. <laughs> he preaches on Sunday. He's preaching. Hey. They've even been telling me some people get healed of is it? There is a lady who got healed of a kidney issue. Yes. He is a serious man of God yes. there. Mm -hmm. So he's a, you see? Yeah. How can you tell that he's a preacher? Because <laughs> he looks like a, as they call a saint in church. Hey, no, sorry, not in church. Um, I bless you guys. 
Amen. We don't want to overshoot it. it. Na hiba ambi, when you're going, eh, share those things. Eh? Eh? Share those things with each other. Go be one day somewhere. Okay, why am I chachi wanga ambi chineno? Go to manu chilebe. Irane, those things you need them. That's already another soldier that has gone ahead of your time. Amen. Mm-hmm. Hey, I bless your giving in the mighty name of Jesus. May it be multiplied in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Bless you. But hey, collect the giving. Mm-hmm. 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 The name fade away till there's only you. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let all the other names fade away. In your children's lives, Father, I pray that as they go back home, this deposit will remain upon them. And I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that their eyes are opening, that there is greater grace, greater glory in the mighty name of Jesus. You are touching their lives. You are breaking them free from everything that hindered them from entering their prophetic destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that even your dreams shall make more sense, shall be more directional, shall be more clear in the mighty name of Jesus. That when you go back home, you see what we've taught you here, okay? Continue practicing it. Lead me into everlasting love. Lead me into everlasting love. 